Today I'm here to make you a wonderful journey on saying what is brain and how do we understand once upon a time this complex brain. Most uh, evolved, there were no sources to understand this complex brain and we used to call brain is a very complex organ in the body. Trust me, if you ask me today, brain is the most simplest organ compared to any other in the body, whether you take liver, kidney, heart, anything. Reason being that it is only one functional cell that's called as a neuron. And the rest three, four cells are assisting cells. So one organ, one cell is the best to repair. So today we have opened the Pandora box of brain because of access to functional MRIs. Positron technologies, PET scans, time-bound MRIs, all these are certain technologies which give inside view in the brain what neurons are doing, what are their functions. And the same thing when I was a student, I was not having access to it to learn. So the most complex brain, in my opinion, is the most easy subject now. So this easy subject has come out with the new research philosophy ruling out the old dogma of fixed neurons at the time of birth. No more story stands with that. The story says neurons are plastic and the plasticity means it is a biological plastic. We all see the various plastic atoms in the body, in the life, which are commonly used. And we know we can change their shapes, their molds, everything. So I'm going to tell you neurons are as plastic as plastic wear. So I call them biological plastics and plastic in the neuron is a big new evolutionary concept. And that is why today I'm going to tell you the neurological conditions which we thought once upon, in, once upon a time, like autism in a newborn babies, palsies, hypoxic injuries, ADHDs, developmental disorders, learning delay processes, hyperactivity, number of conditions, non-verbal children, slow understanding, slow learners. You take so many conditions. They were once upon a time, I repeat my sentence, once upon a time, we used to call there is no treatment to me. Remember, when I'm not talking of only newborn or starting of the day like, the neurons will remain they always proliferate, they always differentiate and they always function and they always have new synaptic connection development because the learning process as we grow older, we are coming with the aging disease like Alzheimer, Parkinson, young age, like schizophrenia, depressions, a number of bipolar technology, bipolar brains, a number of there are there. Alzheimer, big problem. Parkinson, big problem. See, all what I spoke today is 10 years before was not treatable and we were not having any solutions for them. And people used to love, live with the drugs, some electric shocks, and they used to be become a morbid condition to the family as a big liability. And good news for you today from me is that knowing neurological plasticity, it means we can mold the brain, we can train the brain, we can develop new synaptic connections, we can include myelinations, we can improve neuron formation. Then there was no theory of saying there are no stem cells in the brain. Today I say there are stem cells in the brain in three, four locations like dented gas, striatum, there are dented, uh, par par paraventricular spaces, there are olfactory bulb, progenitor neural cells. So we have within the brain progenitor neural cells also and they are guided, expressed, controlled by inner factors and external factors. So genetic expressions make them more plastic. They can change even secretomes, depression secretomes, happiness secretomes, intellectual secretomes or cholinergic secretomes all are possible to change in the brain. The technologies what STEMRX is bring for you are passionate, wonderfully trained out and designed such a way you have to see that what you are not today, you will be tomorrow.
by just taking a compromise a developed technology which is called a sandwich protocol where we involve your inner system to go in a neuroplasticity by using molecules like neurogrowth factor, BDNA factors, peptides and n number of molecules are there which we use like neuropeptides. Along with that what we use is a beautiful new science which is called an energy medicine and this energy medicine is changing the dynamics because neurons fire if not they disappear. This is a basic theory which you understand. Today even it is applied. If they don't fire they disappear. So stimulus makes them firing, continuously firing. So the new synaptic, synaptic connections develop, myelination takes place and the connections which were disrupted can be brought back. That is called as a neuroplasticity. And this is done by energy medicine, a microcurrents, which we have devised at our stimulus like a technology of AISIS, MDI, which are going to come, which are working with us, along transcranial programs microcurrents, magnetic resonance, high pressure waves, a number of technologies are there which can change the milieu, microenvironment, secretones and plastic of the brain. Supported by factors like nerve growth factors as I told you, brain development factors as I told you and the beauty of it like the umbrella of regenerative medicine. Umbrella of regenerative means the concept of regeneration. As I told you, these days were unmet need means we did not have science and symptom, we did not have treatment. So we used to treat science and symptom. This was the old medicine. Now STEMRX is working on regenerative concept means we don't want to treat science and symptoms. But what we want to do is that we want to repair the systems. We are to regenerate the systems and bring the organs as if they were before getting into disease cycle means almost normal. The technologies which I spoke along in the region basin are the cells derived from the bone marrow a complex uh, complex cocktail of various cells like BACL cells, epithelial cells, endothelial cells we have MSCs, BMSCs, progenitor cells are a big complex we make a cocktail which has got a lot of progenitor neural cells and they have a secretome which can repair the brain also that's the beauty of it like another part of it like you can play these cells dance them like plastic in the dishes in your lab. I can make them neurons, I can then make gallium cells and use them for your treatment also. And these are one which are going to change the dynamics. So dear friends, you are very close to the changing era, uh, evolutionary cycle of medicine or a future medicine or a disruptive innovation beyond current science and give you these solutions from STEMRX. So neurology conditions today are no more challenges. They are treatable, they can change, and you will be like other children, other adults, and other old people enjoying the whole life by repairing the neurons and changing the secretomes.